Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects, I'm Steph, and today we're going to talk about pop-up versus push-button sink stoppers. This is the current faucet in my bathroom and it uses that traditional pop-up type sink stopper. And over the 10 years that I've had this in my bathroom, I have a couple issues with this faucet. And one big issue is I have long hair and as much as I try that sometimes will get in the sink drain and then it will, over time, water will back up into the sink. And so in order to clean out the sink drain, then I have to actually go under the sink and I have to remove the clip and then I have to remove the pivot rod and then I can remove the sink stopper and clean out the sink. So as I was researching new faucets, I realized there's another type of sink stopper called a push button. And this one basically doesn't use any of those mechanisms. It just basically, you push it down if you wanna put water in the sink and you push it up to let the water out. And then you can just pull out the sink stopper on its own and then clean out the sink. So I was curious if this would be a better solution for someone with long hair like me for cleaning out the sink periodically. So today I'm gonna to show you how I installed a new faucet in my bathroom. And we're gonna look at the sink stoppers to see if this might be a better solution. The other issue with the faucet is the handles don't stay secure and easily come off. So it was definitely time for a full faucet replacement. I started under the sink by removing the pivot rod from the sink drain. This allowed me to remove the sink stopper. Then I turned off the hot and cold water. I put a plastic container underneath to collect any excess water. Then I unscrewed the supply lines. I removed the water lines from the old faucet and removed the nut securing the faucet to the sink. Then I remove the trap from the sink drain. Be sure to keep these parts as you'll reuse them. I remove the sink drain which is two parts, the bottom and the top. The stuff in the drain is called plumber's putty and it just needs to be cleaned out. Then I removed the old faucet and cleaned up the ring around the faucet. A green Scotch-Brite pad worked well to clean this. Here's a quick look at all the old parts for the faucet. And here you can see these are all the parts for the new faucet, which are a lot less. The first step to installing this faucet is placing this foam gasket in place. Putting the plate over that covers the side two holes. It's helpful to have someone hold the faucet on the top as you're securing it underneath, although you can do it by yourself. It secures to the sink with a long nut, and this faucet also includes a tool for further securing it. Then I attach the water lines. In North America, the standard is to have hot water on the left and cold water on the right. But when I installed the original faucet, I discovered mine were a reverse, so I made sure to place the lines correctly. Next, I'm going to add the sink drain. I took the stopper out and unscrewed the nut. I first placed it to make sure it fit, then I applied some silicone to seal the drain. This is an important step as your sink drain can leak if it's not properly sealed. There's also a product called Plumber's Putty that can be used to seal the drain, but it shouldn't be used on plastic, which is what my drain is made out of. I placed the drain, then I added silicone to the gasket that will go underneath the sink. Under the sink, I put the gasket in place and secured the nut. Then I added the trap back after cleaning it. I waited 24 hours to be sure the silicone was nice and dry before I tested out the faucet. I turned the water back on and tested it out. I let it run to clean the line and it's perfect. I also tested out the drain by adding water to fill up the sink. And that all works perfectly. This faucet by Moen has a spot resistant finish so it's easy to wipe clean. What we learned. 
Now, as you saw, there's a very straightforward process to install this new faucet and sink stopper. It didn't have all the extra parts that a traditional faucet had, so I would definitely say this is a very doable install. Uh, a couple tips though, if you are installing the new sink stopper, make sure you seal it. And because mine was plastic, I use silicone, but if yours is metal, you could use plumber's putty, so make sure you have those on hand before you get started. Also, to add a little bit of comfort, I recommend using a mat like this um, when you are under the sink it's not very comfortable so you could use a towel or something like this to put your head on and this is a husky mat actually now as i was researching sink stoppers i found they make some specifically for catching hair and so i was curious if those would work better than the included push button sink stopper that i have so i got one and realized it didn't fit in the in the drain that i have and so then I got another one and it actually has different size like bottom pieces and so you can fit it into your drain. I tried it out, it seemed to work, but I do want to find out if the regular sink stopper versus uh, one for catching hair work better one over the other. So I'm going to do a whole separate video about that to see, you know, over time which might be a better solution. All right, well, thanks for joining for this one. Um, I will say I installed this faucet a couple weeks ago, and so far I love it. It works really well. We got this um, at Costco for 50 bucks. Really good deal, and uh, it's been great so far. So thanks for joining. If you want to see more projects from us, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com.